Hi everyone, Giuliano here. Let's see in this video the latest improvements introduced by Microsoft to the meeting stage in Microsoft Teams. There is something called Dynamic View that helps you to improve the way how you present in front of your attendees. There is in fact a panel next to your PowerPoint presentation that helps you to have always a look to your participants. You can move them on top of your PowerPoint presentation so you can have a better eye contact and there are additional improvements. Let's see them together. Here I am in Microsoft Teams desktop. Let me join a meeting that I have in order to show you how you can present by using the new dynamic view. Here I have a meeting Project Drone X. Let me join it. I will turn off microphone just to avoid audio disturbing and then I will click on join now. And here I am in the meeting. Okay, you got me. This is a secret meeting with the Avengers. Okay, let's start to explore every new capability here when you share a new PowerPoint presentation. Okay, I'm going now to share a PowerPoint presentation with the share content button. Below under PowerPoint, I can pick up a presentation that I already have this one and the first thing that you can notice is that now participants are placed on the right so i have my powerpoint presentation here in the middle i have the notes here and then i have my participants on the right so i can even remove the notes if i want to have full screen of my presentation in order to do that you have to click on the three dots and then hide presenter view so I'm using now the presenter view, which is very powerful because I have in the middle my presentation, I can go forward with my presentation and on the right I can have an eye of my attendees. With this bar where are contained all participants, I can do more. Let's say for example that I want to focus on specific people, on Miriam Graham. What I can do here is click on the three dots and then pin. Miriam Graham. So I will have now Miriam Graham on top, but I can even use the spotlight. For example, I want to highlight Adele Evans. So I will click on the three dots and then spotlight. Then I will confirm this by clicking on the spotlight button. And now I have also Adele Evans spotlighted. The spotlight win on the pin. So if you spotlight someone, this will be placed on top. And then you have the pinned attendees and finally the normal attendees which are not pinned or spotlighted. So let me remove now the pin and I will remove also the spotlight for Adele Vance. And we are back to the normal situation. There is another nice feature that allows you to aggregate better your participants and this is the together mode. Clicking on the three dots I can turn on the together mode and then the bar the layout of the bar change and i can select the the scene for example i will select this one with five participants and then i will click on apply now i have this new scene applied and i have the, the video i can see the scene with every face of every attendee and then i have the profile picture of every participant below okay let me go back to the gallery view mode now I'll show you another nice thing. You can dock participants on top. So clicking always on more actions, there is a new item available here called gallery at top. Clicking on it, this will dock all my attendees on top so I can have a better high contact with them. And in the same way here that we have seen before, I can pin participants or spotlight. So let's say that I want to pin Ligu and I want to spotlight Diego Siciliani. And now Diego Siciliani is placed on the left, then I have Ligu, which is pinned, and I have the other participants. It's good to know that you can have the together mode enabled when you have docked your participants. I can click now on more actions and then together mode. Now the layout will change. I will have always my two participants spotlighted and pinned and then I have here the together mode enabled. And here as always I will have the profile picture of the other participants. 
Last thing that I want to mention is that if you want to focus on your PowerPoint presentation and if you want to avoid distraction, all you can do is clicking on more action, remove the gallery at top and then switch back to gallery view. And then again, clicking on the three dots, you can enable the focus mode. You will have full screen of your PowerPoint presentation, except for your pinned or spotlighted user. Let me stop now spotlighting uh, Spider-Man and then I will unpin Ligu. So now the focus mode is totally enabled. I have the full screen of my presentation. I don't have user and eventually I can just focus on two, three, the user that are pinned or spotlighted. Okay, we have seen in this video dynamic view in Microsoft Teams. If you enjoyed the video, please give a like and subscribe to my channel to stay tuned with my next videos. Put a comment down below if you want to see me cover any other topics in the future. This is exactly how I build my to-do list for my next videos. I hope to see you next time. Bye.